about a week ago, my doctor uh, wrote um, a referral for me to go see a hand doctor. Uh, anyway, uh, what's happening is this finger, when I close my hand, this finger would stay closed. And I would actually force it open, or, and you would hear like a pop, or a, uh, like, a, like a cracking your knuckles. So, so uh, then uh, what would happen is when I'm, uh, sometimes it would stay there, and I'd force it without touching it, and it would just pop. So I could feel the, the, the thing in there. It was swollen a little bit. So uh, what turned out a tenant was swollen inside. It was not making it over the bone in order to open the hand. So I was getting a trigger finger. All right, so I'll have, I'm, I got some pictures from him. Uh, I'm going to go through and show you what happened. I did not take any pictures at the doctor's, so there's nothing gross. However, my wife thought it was since I had a picture of a syringe going into my hand. <laughs> All right, so, uh, hey, um, if, it's, if you can't handle it, don't watch it, okay? But it is kind of interesting. I'm going to tell you the um, three things that uh, the doctor said to me and um, the, well, my feelings after... Uh, after uh, through the night of uh, the reaction to the steroid uh, shot so enjoy the video okay this is what the finger normally looks like all right uh, when it's going out this is a normal look uh, this is the inflamed inflamed uh, tenant all right so that's my that's the problem I had uh, that's the picture I made that's the needle getting ready to go in all right then what I did is I cut part of the needle off on the picture and just uh, made it look like it actually went in all right, so uh, so the needle actually uh, right here actually goes into that tenant, and that's uh, that's what it uh, uh, looks like. All right, and that's the outcome. That's the little spot. So uh, not too bad. Now the reaction to the steroid shot. Um, got the shot about I'd say uh, eleven o'clock yesterday morning. Uh, made it through the day. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever happened about 11 o'clock or so at night time though. Uh, I got really sweaty. Uh, the flavor in my mouth like I had just vomited. I, and I uh, brushed my teeth, washed my mouth out. I couldn't get rid of the flavor. Uh, wiped down with a towel. Just constantly sweat. About 2 o'clock in the morning, it all stopped. Got my good night's sleep. I'm happy. I sleep for four hours anyway. So... Uh, so it worked out just fine, but that was uh, that was the reaction to the shot. Uh, another thing is I have just a very slight bruise, and that's where the syringe actually went in. Uh, it's not sensitive at all, all right. But you can see a very slight bruise. Uh, so uh, hey, if this works, I don't have to go through surgery on the 14th. So he told me, hey, the first thing is Motrin, Advil for about a week. I've been taking that anyway for my feet. All right, so that didn't work. So the next step is the steroid shot. That goes on until the 14th. You want to see me in three, four weeks, so the 14th today. If this still happens through the time uh, up to the uh, 14th, then I have to go through surgery. If the steroid sh shot worked, and hey, it's not locking up anymore, which it hasn't done at all, but I've been wearing a brace during the night for my carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, so um, hey, that, that, then uh, hey, we'll see what happens. So, but uh, hopefully this was informative for you, and. and um, it's experience of life. What can you say? Uh, share the video if you wish. Subscribe. You'll see a lot more. Take care. Bye.